inspiration of stress. I'm gonna draw something special. Oops, better sharpen my pencil. Let's go for some green this time. I'll need to sharpen this pencil, too. This might be some of my best work. Hold on. Well, pencil, you had a good run. But it's time to join your friends. I thank you for your service. Your fellow pencils will be proud. But it was a sacrifice worth making. Pretty good, huh? Ooh. I am looking good. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's it. We're all done here. Right. Who's next? <laughs> that would be me. Let's get this over with. Whoa, I love your style. I can work with this. I love the monochrome look. How about a smile? How about no? Okay, you like the moody look. I get it. What is it? Is… is that a hand? It's with me. This is so weird! Ah! Get off me! Ah! My camera! <laughs> Oops. I can't use this. It's ruined. How am I supposed to take photos now? Hang on. Maybe I can use this. I think it might work. It's worth a shot. Just stay there. I'll just sketch out your face. Then I'll go over it with heavier lines. I'll take my time. I'll apply different amounts of pressure to the pencil. This'll give me shading and texture. It helps make the drawing look more realistic. Wow, those eyelashes look great! I wish I could do my mascara like this. Now for the other eye. I really want to capture your essence. The eyes tell a story. Smudging the drawing gives me shadowing. I can use this special tool for that. And it stops my hands getting dirty. Using a white pencil gives me contrast. It helps give the impression of light and darkness. This is going well! Now for a little shadowing around the eyes. This will accentuate the natural curves on your face. Those cheekbones are poppin'! Wow! Now I'll add a little more detail around the eyes. We can't rush perfection. It's really coming together. Next, I'll work on the lips. Mixing the light and dark pencils gives depth. It makes it stand out. And the drawing comes to life. Now it's time for the hair. Using light and heavy lines helps give the impression of hair. I'll leave a gap in the middle. This'll be the light reflecting. Then I can work on the braids. I'll keep going over the braids. It'll make them fuller. Then I'll do the opposite side. It's just the same process. Building up the layers and the texture. I want to keep the light reflection in the same spot. Now I can start to work on the body. I'll go over it lightly and use the blending tool to create shading. I'm glad you're not wearing multicolored clothes. It makes my job so much easier. Once I've sketched it out, I'll go over it with black pencil. I'll apply more pressure. I think it's finished! It's better than any photograph I've taken. I've really nailed your creepy stare. Check it out. What do you think? I hope you like it. Is that me? <laughs> I look so pretty. You're so talented. I was getting worried for a moment. I thought you were gonna set the hand on me. Here you go! Phew. Now, uh, get out of here. Can I look now, mom? Happy birthday! Yay! Thanks, mom! I've got something for you. Really? For me? You deserve it, honey. Wow! I wonder what it is. Ooh, this is so exciting! I love surprises! Whoa! Is that an iPad? Wow! Thanks, mom! This is awesome! I'm so happy. I love you, honey. Hmm, I have an idea. I'm gonna draw something. Ooh, this is good. It's a beautiful butterfly. Wow, that was so easy. Wait, what's happening? Wow, look at that! It's so magical! What else should I draw? I have an idea. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll draw a large pile of cash. And now, I wait. <gasps> Something's happening. I think it's working. Whoa! Look at all this cash! Whoa! I'm rich! 
I've never seen so much money! And it's real! I'm going on a shopping spree later! But first, I've got something else to draw! Here goes! I've sketched out a faint outline. Then I'll go over it. Now I'll draw the eyes. It's looking good already! And next, I'll do the nose and the smile. I like this! And now for the body. That's one cozy-looking jacket. I wouldn't mind one of them. That's the main parts done! I can start working on the finer details. I'll create the logo on the bandana. This can just be a spiral. It's time to add color! I'll use yellow for the hair. I think he suits being a blonde! I'll use blue for the bandana. I'll use different shades of blue. Then I'll add shadowing. I want to create contrast. I'll give a metallic look. It's so effective! I'll use a light pink for the skin. Then I'll add darker pink under the nose and on ears. Using the iPad makes it so much easier to give my drawings texture and realism. It's just finding the spots where the light falls. Then choosing different tones. I'll use a darker shade of pink on the neck. This would be in shadow. I'll add more details to the hair. It makes his hair look spiked. Now I'll zoom in on his eyes. He'll be a blue-eyed boy. Now I'll add some black lines on it. Now I'll select the cutting tool. I'll carefully go around the eyes and the eyelids. Then I'll remove the color. What's next? I know! The clothes! I love this color! It'll need some shadows. Once this is done, I can color the rest of the jacket. I'll use a denim blue for this. That was quick! I'll add some black to it. I need to select a thin line. I'll add whiskers because… why not? I'll color the background. I think it's ready! Wow! It's amazing! Come on! What's taking so long? Finally! Woohoo! Hey, what's going on? I drew you! Oh, that makes total sense! So this is my birthday party! The party was great. I never danced so much. Jake did what? No way! He's so funny! Good. I'm not late for class. These paint supplies are so awkward to carry. Oh, there's a seat next to Ashley! No! Uh, what was that? I tripped. Huh? You better fix this. Or else. Uh, I'm so sorry! It was an accident! I'm just kidding. I have another one. See? Sorry, the nerd fell over. So, does this mean you don't want this? You're just gonna throw it away? Looks like I've got a free laptop. Hang on. I have an idea. I need to personalize it. I'll start by pouring white paint over it. I don't need a lot. That should do it. I'll use this to spread out the paint. The roller will give a nice, even coat. I'll paint right up to the edge of the laptop. I don't want to miss any spots. Now I'll wait for it to dry. I've switched to a thinner brush. I'll paint this corner yellow. It's gonna be the sun. And I'll add sunbeams. This yellow is making me happy. It's so cheery. Next, I need pink paint. It might look random just now. But these will be love hearts. I'll leave some parts bare for now. I'll fill them in with a different color. They're gonna be musical notes. This one will be yellow. I don't want to paint over the pink. This section can be orange. It's gonna be so bright and colorful. I'll paint semicircles under the sun. I'll make them different colors. This laptop isn't gonna be boring. It'll definitely stand out. I'm not painting anything specific. I'm just letting the creativity flow. Ooh, I know what to do here. I want it to be like flames. I'll start with a red outline, just like this. Then I'll fill it in with yellow paint. I'll leave parts white. It just adds to the effect. Now I need to fill in the rest of the laptop. How about some… purple? Yeah, that's nice. Next, I'll fill in the gaps between the sun. I'll use a vibrant orange. And then blue around the edges. I'll put some white clouds in here. I'll let all the paint dry. Then I'll grab a black pen. I'll draw around the individual parts. It'll add an outline. I'll separate the heart. 
and go around the musical notes. Next, I'll add some details. I'm done with the pen, but I need some more white paint. This'll give the impression of light reflecting. And then I'll add black paint for texture. Wow, look at it! It just needs some finishing touches. I know! I'll add some dark patches on the flames. There! I'm done! I impress myself sometimes. I love it! Wow! It beats having stickers on it. This is my lucky day! Maybe I should drop paint on more of Ashley's things. I need a new phone. Let's start with the human face. It's quite a complex subject matter. Well, what are you two waiting for? And like a zoo, you can draw too! Wow, are these for us? We get to draw our own faces! Wow, let's do it! Well, anyone want to go first? Yes, yes, me, me! You're always such a goody goody. Ugh, whatever. Um, what about you? Yes! I'm gonna nail this assignment! Now give me your best look, okay? Yeah? How's this? Anything good? Ew, stop! Stop! What? This is my real face. You don't recognize it? Hmm. Oh! Stay just like that! Okay, all finished! What do you think? Is this you or what? Um, it's interesting. I think you need some glasses. Cause that looks nothing like me. What? But this is some of my best work! If you say so. Ah, look. I'm gonna show you a little drawing trick. While this may just look like a doodle, it's actually the base of a real drawing. Can you recognize anything yet? See how I never even lift up my pen? It's just one continuous line. Ta-da! Here it is! It's got some real style, huh? But it still looks like a face. Where did you learn how to do that? Wow, it really is something. Mindy, way to go! Here we go for the next challenge! Oh, it's a bunch of paint with makeup blenders! They're so squishy. Hmm, maybe I should check my makeup. Ooh, I could definitely use some touching up. Yeah, me too, Sky. Oh look, the wheel! Look, it stopped on the beauty blender! Yay! And we've got these long canvases to work on. All right, those are ready to go. Now for the hands! Oh man, no hands for either of us this time. Time for paint. Ow! My head! Ouch! Okay, we gotta be more careful. All right, I've got some yellow on my blender. And now I'll dab it onto my canvas and try to get a straight line. I think I'll start with this light blue. And now to start painting onto this end of my canvas. Now I need to add some orange to the yellow I've already put down. Time for some light pink now. I'll put it on this side of the blue. I'm gonna need this pretty sea green color. This is kind of fun, right, Lexi? Okay, back to work. I need some of that green right in this area. I gotta keep blending these pinks together! Yes! My ombre effect totally worked out great! Wow, it's so beautiful! And serene, too! Phew! I'm finished, too! That was a lot of work. Whoa! That's way different than what I made. Wow. Well, did you see what I did? Lexi? Look at mine! Yeah, yeah, it's great, Sky. I just… Whoa! H how did you even do all of that? Yeah, thanks. It totally turned out just like I pictured in my head. Well, now I don't know how I feel about mine. Listen, don't be sad. We can zazz yours up. We'll use this daisy. We'll just put it face down on your canvas. And now we'll get some white paint on the beauty blender. Time to put some of this white paint on the edges of the petals. Oh, wow! Let's do another one up here. Wow, Sky, You made it even better! I love mine now! Look at the patterns the petals made! They're so pretty! You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. to get my ice cream bag. Not the rocky road. Yeah! Time to do painting! I'm an artist! I'm the best at art! Painting is fun! Oh no! I got paint on your computer! I know! I'll just clean it off! Wait! It's just smearing! Oh no! It's making an even bigger mess! It all just turned pink! She's gonna be so mad at me! Huh? She's awake! Uh, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me? Huh. You're acting weird. Really suspicious. Wait a second! Ah, my laptop! What happened to it? You paid! 
painted it pink! Huh? What's this over here? A straw? Wait! I can totally salvage this travesty! Okay, here's my poor messed up laptop. I need more paint. That's right. More, not less paint is the solution. White and yellow too. And some purple. So pretty. And maybe just a bit of this brownish yellow. Okay, now I'm ready for the straw. I'll start blowing this paint now. I'll use the air to push the paint around the laptop. Gotta keep going. I like the different colors for sure. And the patterns and textures it makes are cool! Wow! It turned into a legit piece of artwork! It's beautiful! Makes me think of waves in the ocean! I can't believe how well it turned out! Wow! Look at her computer! So cool! I wonder what it is? I'm so excited! It's kinda disappointing so far. I know, right? Uh… What's that noise? Surprise? Still nothing. Hello? We're waiting! Whoa! That was pretty cool! Wow, should we open it? Uh, well, it's mine! Hey, hand it over! It was my idea! Don't grab! You're so mean, Chris! Ooh, bubbles! I don't care! But they are pretty! Can I try? <laughs> no. Please! It's so fun! Hey, look at that! This gives me an idea! This'll be so good! Start with a canvas. Then use a roller to apply paint. Make sure to cover the whole canvas. Now take a coffee cup and dip it into white paint. And press onto the canvas. Be as creative as you want! Next, start to add color inside the circles. Try to add different colors for a more realistic effect. We're trying to capture the light in the bubbles. This is looking good! And now for some finer details. Whoa! This turned out amazing! I'm so artistic! Hey, Chris! I have some bubbles of my own! What? Jealous? Can I have it? Let's swap! Give me it! Wow! Huh? Where's the bubbles? It's empty! That's not fair! Oh, <laughs> did I forget to tell you I used all the bubbles? It's not funny! You ready for this one? Oh, let's see some giraffes! How do I do it? Oh, that's a piece of cake! I could do it in my sleep! I know! Start with a head like this! Now just a few more lines! I got it! Just a quick snack first! So fresh! Phew! That mall was huge! But I got the inspiration I needed! First, draw these four numbers! Look at this little guy! And here's a swan! A beautiful butterfly! And lastly, a fish! Now it's time to color them all in! He's cute, right? And this swan is super elegant! Don't forget the water! A pink butterfly? Adorable! It's all about the little details! Now onto the little fish! All right! Time's up, girls! I drew four animals! Including the giraffe, of course! Incredible, Madison! Annie? Just one more second, okay? I can't draw fast enough! Done! That's… interesting… what a sad excuse for a giraffe! Okay, time for the next challenge! Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? 
I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop. You're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes. I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. Really gotta work on my brush technique. Harder strokes, come on! <sighs> anyway… <sighs> okay… Isn't this evening just beautiful? Hey look! Real artists! Hi! Isn't that the cutest couple ever? Uh, if you like that mushy stuff… I love you so much, honey. I feel inspired. I want to transfer this love onto the page. Uh-huh. There. Could these subjects be more boring? I prefer to follow my own heart. One glob of paint at a time. This way, the colors get mixed for me. And you can have fun with the lines. Here comes the color! There! Almost finished with the dots. Now crumble up some aluminum foil. And use it to blot the wet paint. This gives it some nice texture. See what I mean? Then go in with the brush and do a little polishing up. What's an outdoor scene without a good tree? Just try not to be too heavy-handed. More blotting! There! Doesn't this look awesome? But we've still got more to do. This color mixing makes it look less rigid. But it could still use a little refinement. See? There are lovers in here. They're just not the main focus. Nice! Now for some rain. Because that's ever so romantic. Ta-da! Is this romantic enough? Mine sure is! How about yours? Eh. Could be better. Do you like it? Wow! That deserves to go in a museum! Really? Guess that makes me the winner! Good job, Jen! Come here! Please? I guess you can have it. It's us, sweetie pie! Ciao! My turn to spin the wheel! Wait, what? Okay, fine. Make sure you do it right. A dog! This shouldn't be too hard. Am I supposed to be intimidated? I've got this. Okay, a dog. Where do I start? It helps I'm an animal lover. I'll start by drawing a circle. What now? Hmm. What next? What's she doing? How's that a dog? I know! I'll draw some small circles. That should be enough. Now I'll draw some semicircles. I'll add a nose and some eyes. I'll draw some of the details. And it needs a tail! There! A cute little doggy! 
It's possum! <laughs> Get it? How did you do that? That's pretty smart. How's your drawing? Well, uh, art is subjective, remember? If you squint, it sort of looks like a dog. Ooh, that's rough. Let's see who won! Wow! Would you look at that! I'm so happy! Do I win a dog? I'd love a fluffy dog! Ahem. What is it? That's it? It's cute, but I'd prefer a real one. I'll take it. You can have it. Girls, feast your eyes on this beauty! Look at those diamonds! Your turn! I think I can manage this. It's just a bunch of red, right? Think, Ashley, think! Jennifer's almost done! Guess I'll give it my best shot. Looks like the outline of a dress. Now for the body! The magic is in the details here. And now for that pop of color! See how the lines give it movement? It's like it's coming alive! Looking good! It's a winner for sure! Well, I'd better lend her a hand. Just what every dress needs! A whole lot of sparkle! Wow, so pretty! Now make a wish! Wait! My allergies! Achoo! Phew! Time's up! Go ahead, Jennifer. Isn't it pretty? Very nice! How about mine? It's truly a vision! Huh? Whoa! It's sparkling! Are you kidding me? Yes! I did it all myself! You can have it! Art brings everyone together! For our next lesson, we'll talk about symbolism. Recognize this masterpiece? It's your turn to replicate it! Now get started! Hmm. It's so nice out today. Oh, so dirty. Much better. Oh! That's my print! Hey! Get back here! Okay, let's think here. I think I have the print on my phone. Yep, all hope is not lost. Catch! Got it! Thanks! Hey, this is actually kinda cool. Hey, you mind? Okay. Hey, wait, that's not fair at all! Give me that thing! Hey! Let's see… Whoops. Forgot about the wet paint. Ugh, come out! The teacher's gonna be really mad. Phew. This thing ought to help. Scrub-a-dub-dub. Is anything coming off at all? Oh, Mindy. Ugh. This is useless. Unless… I can blame it on Ashley. Bingo! It's the true perfect crime. These colors are really coming together. What's that phone doing over here? I don't know. Super weird. Oh, yeah? Ugh, what am I gonna do about this? The case is totally ruined. I know. I'll just work with what I've got. Use this sponge stamp. First, I'll put black around here. And keep going until it's totally covered. This may take a little bit of patience. See? You're almost done now. Next comes color number two. Blue. Whoa! This looks pretty cool. Add in some pink for a sunset look. The key is quick, light stamping. Then go in with a green hue here. Yep, just at the bottom part. It's really coming together now. Use a circle shape as you stamp white here. That way you get the perfect circle. Then you can fine-tune with these. Don't worry. It'll make sense soon. It's all in the details. You can even make little stars. Now it looks like they're twinkling. All you need is a couple of them. This is magnificent! Really? No, wait! I'm the one who did it! Well, it is what it is. Oh, this is so unfair! Wait. Who can play this game? Look it! 
Oh! You sure did a great job! Ugh. We hope we've inspired you to pick up a pencil or paintbrush. What's your best art tip? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great videos just like this one!